Just a little more than one year since the first known COVID death in the United States, a deeply grim milestone is approaching. The loss of half a million American lives to the coronavirus. The number is even more horrific when you consider that the United States is only 4% of the world's population, but has 25% of the COVID cases on this planet. Dr. Anthony Fauci said people decades from now are going to be talking about this terribly historic milestone. To have these many people to have died from a respiratory-borne infection, it really is a terrible situation that we've been through and that we're still going through. And that's the reason why we keep insisting to continue with the public health measures because we don't want this to get much worse than it already is. In New York City, more than 28,000 people have died of the virus, or one in 295. Mayor de Blasio tweeted, we are not out of the woods yet. With 234 new hospitalizations and 3,065 new cases, the seven-day positivity rate stands at 7.31 percent. And on the New York state level, there were 75 COVID-19 deaths on Saturday, the highest number being 14 in Queens, 13 in Brooklyn, 6 in Manhattan, and 5 in the Bronx. I will not survive without more aid. It's impossible. Uh, we are getting the business we used to. New York Senator Chuck Schumer held his Sunday news conference at a restaurant called Dirt Candy on the Lower East Side to talk about the struggling restaurant industry in New York City, where between one-third to one-half of all restaurants may close permanently because of the pandemic. The Senate Majority Leader saying that he is optimistic that his restaurant relief fund, modeled on the widely supported bipartisan restaurant Restaurants Act will save thousands of restaurants in the city. What it would do would get put $25 billion aside for a six-month grant to restaurants. They can't, they're in debt, they don't have loans. And the grant is very flexible. 